Uh, what do you mean the up view? The up view meaning that I'm shooting now. Uh, you know, I'm doing a video of my paper prototype. So basically, this thing. Oh, now, okay. I'm not going to be on this video, am I? No, you are not. Good, okay. But uh, the thing is that uh, basically this is an app for the people interested in data science. Okay. Uh, like data mining? Data or? mining, uh, people who are interested in data coming from uh, cell phone sensors. Okay. So anything that any uh, phone is able to record, okay. uh, people you may be interested in... In aggregating it or something? Yeah, pretty much. So... The, uh, the idea is that you will have an app called Sensorama, which you can see on this first... You, you have an app, say again? It's called Sensorama. Sensorama, okay. Uh, it's like a you know random name for an app. Okay. And basically, it looks like here. And basically, the idea is that you will be able to record uh, samples from okay. the cell phone sensors. So if I were to like have you start recording right now... Uh, and I think I have the order messed up. So this should be like this. I should grab my glasses. So okay, sounds better, good. Better read this. Can I move this yeah, yeah. to me? Go ahead so that you feel comfortable. As if you were holding a phone, okay? Okay. So this is the first screen. And basically, if I were to like ask you to start recording a, a sample, would you know how to do it? I'm looking at this to take it all in. Well, I think I would hit start recording. But how would I select my sens my sensors? Okay. So uh, would this would this give uh, give all of my sensors? Okay. Well, so w which which part of the app you decide to press now? Um, actually. Uh, it would depend what sensors I wanted to... Okay, um, so what do, what do you think you would hit oh, first? Right, so I think I would hit my sensors to okay. see what sensors I have. So here you go. Okay. Uh, okay, great. And let's say... Hmm. So is it clear what you have enabled now? Yeah, so maybe, maybe I would then choose one of these to okay. record. So I would maybe choose position. Okay, sounds good. And so, okay, so I, I would click on position. Okay, sounds good. And now, uh, if I were to like ask you to record something, what would you type or what would you tap? Um, so my assumption is that I would click on position and okay. it would then bring up another window. Okay, so let's say this would bring this okay. window. All right, now at this point, um, I would expect it to say position somewhere in here, but I don't see that it does. Okay, sounds good. Okay, and um, then I would look and click start recording. Although the chances are good I might want to actually schedule when to start recording. Okay. Rather than just push just now. The fact that I'm, lo that I'm looking yeah. to see... Uh, sample information doesn't mean I want to start recording now. I may want to set up for... Uh, recording right okay sounds good so let's assume that you either well let's assume that this is only for the interactive uh, recording for now okay so you just pick the okay so know, I pick the one I wanted to start recording and now hit start recording. okay so let me we, ask you a quick question okay isn't um, isn't all of the recording already done isn't the data for position already um, stored somewhere or do you actually have to grab it and I will Save. probably have to grab it in the real time. Okay. Okay. So when you hit start, basically what uh, this app would do, kind of, imagine that there is an animation here. You go from, you know, zero, zero, zero time mm -hmm. up to like seven seconds of time. So here you are. Okay. And tell me if you think you would know how to like stop recording. Um, certainly the stop recording button seems very... Okay, clear. so you would probably tap the stop recording, right? Yes. Mm -hmm. And let's assume that uh, you stopped recording. How would you know what you recorded? I assume that there would be some way of naming the recording. Now, okay. have a sample name here, but I'm not sure how to change that. Okay, sounds good. And my assumption is that uh, after I... Um, save or 
I, I assume I will save the recording to file, but I don't, yeah. I don't see how to do that. But after okay. I would do that, I assume it would appear in the My Samples. Okay. Area. So would you click My Samples or you would expect something else to happen? Um, I would expect to, to save um, or otherwise see, to either see a pro, to see a, uh, an image of the recording of the recorded okay. data, for example. Uh, yeah. You know, here, Plot. Here's the data that was recorded in graph form. Plot. And then I assume I would then say, great, save this to file. Okay. And that's what I'm assuming it would do. So like a pop-up? Uh, either that or another modal menu. In other okay. Words, uh, we've got my sensors captured. Uh, when we're in the middle of recording, I guess it's possible we want, might want to go to my sensors. Uh, and it's possible that we might want, we're already in capture, but I assume that after I hit stop recording, there might be one of these, maybe okay. there's a fourth one that says save. Okay. Uh, or something like that. Okay, sounds good. Uh, sounds good. So if you assume that you hit this button a couple of times and you know, in this file name pop-up, you would record a couple of uh, recordings do you know how would you like see them all? Where would you go? Say that question again. If you were to do multiple recordings. Okay. Okay. So imagine that you tapped. I assume start, I, stop. I assume there'd be a, a, rational, a rational name for them. For example, if it was position, I assume it would say, you know, uh, data set position. Okay. Maybe, maybe the time okay. uh, saved and then maybe something that I put in or, or some variation of that. Okay. Uh, so I'm assuming that uh, that when we click on my samples, we get a page of of sample names. Okay. Uh, that we have we have given these things. Now these might be auto generated, but I assume there's some way to actually yeah. name it yourself. Yep. Um, and um, okay, so I see this. What is this says on my device, and this is shared. Mm -hmm. Okay, so. The idea is that you would upload it in some way. Or, mm -hmm. Okay. Yep. And on my device is the current device. Yes. Okay. So basically, right now, if I were to let's so say instead of on my device, maybe maybe it might say something like uh, local or something. Okay. Something like that. Maybe. Sounds good. Uh, perhaps. You know. So how would you go about sharing it with somebody? Um. Well, I guess if they're if it's in a format that allows the scheduling to be... I mean in the app. Uh, mm. So if you look at this app, do you know, uh, I see. would you know how to share it with somebody? I, I see. So I would push the share button and then it would bring up... The okay. Share so you would get this. Okay. So basically to make sure if we, that you got it, uh, you press share. You said you you press share. Yep. And mm -hmm. animation happens, and you have that something like that. Okay. Um, I don't know what these arrows are. Okay. Um, and it says edit my samples share. <coughs> How is editing my samples and sharing my samples uh, part of the same same thing? That's a good point. Uh, uh, I mean, I it may be that I'm not thinking how this would work. No, I think you're jumps, saying, no, 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 you, what you say makes perfect sense. Okay, so uh, without me giving hints what your feeling is and how you would like behave right now that you got this window. Well, I assume that what I would do is maybe this means upload. Okay. And so maybe I... I, I don't know if this field, if this is a button or this is a button. Okay. But let's assume this means upload, and I click on this because I want to okay. uh, upload this to some shared, okay. shared cloud area. Okay. I assume on doing that, it would bring up a, a uploading or sharing. Okay. Area. And then I assume there'd be some selections as to share shared destination. Okay. So you let's say that you were right. It was a button. You shared it. You come back here. Uh, would you know how to remove the sample if you like recorded something wrong and you want to remove it? Okay, so you're saying we're leaving the sharing issue. Now. You kind of said that you would kind of maybe try to tap or something. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Let's say that this is how it works. Okay. Okay, and so you shared already. You shared. Okay. But you realize that out of three samples, one of them is just not necessary and pollutes okay. your device. Would you know how to like remove it? 
Um, I'm assuming that maybe this right arrow means uh, pull down menu. Frames. Okay. So I'm going to assume that these things are objects that have. Um, okay. That can be them. So imagine that you tapped it and you got something like this. Okay. Um, which looks pretty similar to what we just saw a moment ago. Yep. Um, now, I don't know what this is, but maybe this means uh, deleted or something. I okay. Know. Sounds good. Yeah, that's actually what um, I expected it to mean. I think what you want to make sure of is that it's clear. When, when you go to a menu that, that only, that a kill menu, you want to make sure it's clear. Yeah. Uh, that this says delete this, question yeah. mark. Because you don't want somebody to interpret a symbol and think minus sign. Maybe I click it and it toggles to plus sign. Okay. If, if what happens when they hit it is that it then says file gone. You know, okay. I might surprise on that. So, um, but keeping that in mind, if this is really the delete this this data button, then uh, okay, I could see that I could delete that data. Okay. Now, cool. now the, a good question is whether if what you wanted to delete it is something that's been shared. You know whether you explicitly have to go to the shared area or areas, and it's not clear from the menu. Yeah, um, that so, makes sense too. So that that's something to consider. Okay, cool. Thanks a lot.